Hi guys, welcome to my bathroom. Today we're going to do like a Vogue style video on how to go from day to night with your lashes and your look. And I'm gonna give you a quick tip on how to make a little bit of a sultry look to add to your lashes. And if you guys have been following our YouTube videos and seeing what we write about, you guys already know, but we are just going to show off our Rebel Lash today, and it's from our exclusive 3D Mink collection. It's such a good lash. Um, the volume on it is a nice medium volume, but I personally love it, and it's really easy to trim. And we're just going to get into it and show you guys how to go from bare lashes with just mascara to a full nighttime natural baddie. If you guys want to follow along, you are going to need a few things. Uh, you're going to need your lash applicator which you can find on our site. It will be linked below. Lash adhesive. It's latex free and formaldehyde free. It's just so good and it keeps your lashes on all day, all night and does not rip your lashes. And make sure you have your handy dandy cosmetic scissors to trim the lashes because these are so important to make sure they fit your eye because do not just take them out of the box and throw them on your eye. If they do fit your eye, you're the luckiest girl I've ever seen, but Lashes aren't universal, so they don't fit every eye shape, and depending on the style, you do want to cut some more down. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. We have a lot of videos and tutorials, so I'm not going to be too in-depth. I'm just going to show you how I pop them on. We have Rebel. We have our Rebel lash here. I am just going to take it out very carefully with my lash applicator. Just like that. We're going to be starting with the left eye, and as you can see, what we're going to do is I just hold it with my fingers and I measure it to my eye. So what I like to do is I just, I don't even like fully put it on. You kind of like see how far there. And I take a little bit extra off because I like to focus on the outer corner. Little by little and always make sure you're trimming from the outer corner because if you trim from the inner corner, it's not going to gradiate as nicely and see how it like, you see the difference already and it's not even on. That's insane. What we're gonna do is we're gonna plop on our, plop. We're gonna put on our lash adhesive. Like I like to stay more towards the inner and outer corners because that's where lashes tend to lift, especially throughout the day. And then put obviously some in the middle, but focus more on the outer corners because a lot of people forget and I don't blame them. And so here's a trick. I wait about 30 seconds before I put the lash on, sometimes a little bit less, because I want time to be able to adjust the lash to my eye. But some people really, really like waiting three, four minutes before they put their lash on because it'll just cling to the eye and you won't really have to fuss with it. But though that honestly is for like lash pros and sometimes I have good days and sometimes I have bad days. So we're just gonna do it like this and I will show you guys in about 30 seconds what it looks like. Now the lash is pretty tacky and you can see it kind of goes from blue to white to clear. What we're gonna do, the lash is pretty tacky so we're just gonna plop it onto the middle of the eye. <laughs> Again, here I go with plop, like, okay. So we're gonna put it on the middle of the eye and then pull the inner and outer corners in just to keep it intact. But it won't look perfect at first and that is my method. Just stick with me. Literally on top of the eye, like this. Slowly start getting it to where you want it. Pull the inner corner like that. This is not pressed down yet but I like to set it like this first before I go full on. That is with the lash on and that is with the lash off. Super big difference, really pulls my eye out. I love this lash for that reason and makes it really like sexy and sultry, but still like natural baddie, which is the vibe this summer and I'm kind of into it. It's about right. And I'm gonna put this on and I will be right back. So I'm back, I have both lashes on, and honestly, they're slaying. As you can tell, I kind of pinched this one down a little bit, and this one's a little bit higher. I'm gonna show you how I do it all in one second, but I'm letting it dry a little bit, and while I'm doing it, you can do it with the applicator, which is honestly easy, because it has this like curved edge, which actually is made for your eye. 
Um, but I will say if the glue isn't dried yet, do it with your fingers because otherwise you will pull and tug. So right now I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna pinch it down and I do it under, right underneath the lash band. And as you can tell, it like seamlessly <laughs> applies to the eye. My tip for the summer is always get like a catty lash. I think Rebel is so good because it gives you like the light fluffy look in the front and then towards the ends, it just flares out and pulls your eyes out. So it gives you that fox eye, like Bella Hadid kind of look. Um, and now I'm just gonna show you guys a couple eye tips on how to make it a little bit more sexy and sultry. And let's get into it. A lot of you guys have like a basic neutrals palette. So I think this is gonna be the easiest to create with. I'm just gonna take like a medium toned brown like this. And I'm going to see, look, look at the color band. I'm just gonna get it in the crease and push it up. Look at the difference already. Like it's just the crease. Literally guys, this is like, you could do this in the car. Just lay your makeup in the car on your way to wherever you're going this hot girl summer. Do it in the car. You don't need a full light and everything. Just as long as you got your tools, your equipment, you can slay. Yeah. So that's a medium tone brown in the crease. You can honestly use like a darker bronzer if you wanted to. Then a super, super secret that you can do is take like the two lightest shades, mix them together. I, I need this if I'm leaving the house, especially at night because photos at night always make my under eyes look darker no matter how much I conceal them. So I'm just going in here and I'm just going to lighten the area up. I don't know if you guys can tell. makes it a lot brighter and happier i'm kind of digging like the bathroom content because it's like real time put a little under your brow bone and then i take the medium like nude and do like a faux cut crease right there this nice thing is these colors are so light like they're not super heavy so it's literally just a tiny accent and what a lot of people like doing is putting that same brown under their eyes so if you want a little bit more sexy and like seductive you can do that with some like bottom mascara but for me i'm a natural girl and i think that's perfect and you can add a shimmer on the inner corner as well so i'm gonna do that for you guys i'll do that my dior my Dior Backstage palette. I'm gonna take a little bit of the gold and I'm gonna put it right here. A little here. Brow bone with the gold and the white. See that? See that like instant bright? Ooh, girl. Yes, that is what we needed. And then you can put that on the brow bone. So that is our day tonight. Just super simple, like how to level up the same makeup. Um, if you're a little oily, just dab it a little bit. But this summer, everyone's about glowing and being natural and such a baddie. So do what you want, but just level up with some Lava Beauty lashes. I will link these down below for you guys to shop really easily. And yeah, just use your neutral tones, use some bronzer, throw that in the crease on your way to an event. Um, yeah, you're gonna slay and just touch up your lips wherever you go. But let us know if you like like real talk videos, if you want tutorials, do you want like education, do you want cleanliness, like what do you want about the lashes? So let us know down below, we always wanna hear. So we'll see you guys in our next video.